So I'm going to add some insult to this insanity of reality. You know, it amazes me to be a participant as a human being on this planet. And as I have learned through the years of living and understanding who we are and what we really are, what we really are, what we really are, is something that has been plaguing humanity for a very, very long time, I've noticed. And it comes to my conclusion that it's not just a handful of bad leadership throughout the human history, because it's quite obvious with all the participants in uh, this insane game we call war, there is no honor or pride, really, if you really think about it, in murdering people, because that's what you're doing. You're murdering people, and there's no two answers for it. Whatever the cause is, that's, that's irrelevant, because the end result in the game of war, what is it? To destroy, to murder, to kill, to conquer, okay? That's all in the same thing. It's all bad. It's not good. Murder is murder, okay? It doesn't matter what kind of name you put in front of it. Murder is murder, okay? So basically, these are gangs. Warfare, gang warfare on a large scale, worse than you ever can imagine. And uh, we think that this is some kind of a tradition, obviously. I mean, it really is. A tradition to learn how to brutalize and destroy somebody else in the name of whatever it is from what whoever supposedly is in charge at the time is going to throw those commands down. And unfortunately, again, back to what I was saying, that throughout time, obviously, th this is something that we really must enjoy as fucking murdering each other. I mean, we even have video games for our children so that they can learn how to murder each other. I mean, we, we obviously have an infatuation with murdering each other. I mean, we go to great lengths, spend tons of resources, waste tons of resources for this insane game called war all over the globe. Everyone, I'm talking, not singularly to picking out on anyone. I'm talking about all of us. Every single human being on this planet that participates in this collectivism of this insanity because we're all funding this one way or another because we are also participating in it. And the funny thing is, is this, guys. All of the participants that are participating in it, the ones that called the shots are not participating in it. They have no risk whatsoever at all. They're not going to die. They're not going to lose their family members because their family members are going to be safe at home with them. So... Not only the psychopaths are at the top, we have minions, and I mean minions of eager doers for these people. So, technically, not only the shot callers, all these eager people that are willing to do this in whatever name is called out, in whatever justification or whatever provocation or whatever the claim is, we're all willing to participate in this insanity. And the funny thing is, what I'm getting at is, that none of this could be possible without the participation of the minions of willing participants. So if we really truly want peace... We want something better than this, and we could call ourselves civilized, civilized. We would not participate in any of this insanity 
and murderous and destructive shit that's going on. So obviously the bottom result again is it's not the, a matter of fact, I don't even think it's that small group of people anymore. I can't believe that anymore. It's us. We're the problem. Humanity is the problem. Until we walk away from that mindset and stop listening to a handful of people that we're going to blame for all the problems, which in essence they are because they eat it up because they know there's millions of you idiots are going to do exactly what they want you to want them to do. <laughs> and that's why they seem to be the problem. But the problem is, is the masses is the masses because you keep buying into it. You keep doing it because you enjoy this. You think that this is normal. You think that you have to go and be, be this, become this, or you're not going to be safe. Who, are you, who, who is your enemy? I mean, humanity has been here. Humans have been here for long enough. You know who our enemy is? Is ourselves. We're afraid of ourselves. We're afraid to reach out. We're afraid to actually get to know somebody we don't know. We're actually afraid to find out that we might have something in common with each other, even though that we're so abstract, different than each other. It's amazing. It really is truly amazing how insane the whole group of us are. I'm included. Yes, I am. I'm not speaking from some high tower like I'm above all this. I'm, a, I'm swimming in this damn thing just like the rest of you. Absolutely. But this is how I see it. We are a very insane society. And obviously, this is something we really enjoy. Because if we really, really, truly, honestly did not want this, we would not help support it. We would not fund it one iota, one bit, and we wouldn't be experiencing this as we are right now, especially with the technology that we have today. We are more dangerous than ever in human history because of the technology, of the destruction that we can put out without even a human being actually <laughs> having to be involved in the actual destruction. We can send bombs, nuclear energy bombs. We can destroy people with the push of a button with this technology and maybe even farther beyond this technology that we all know they have things that we don't even know about. And that is a fact, far greater than what they have shown us. So here is the thing. Are we going to stop being like this? Because all we have to do is change. Then that crazy group that we've been listening to will disappear without even having to destroy them. They will destroy themselves, actually. So are we ever going to ever, because we, how dare us, we should never say, ever say we're civilized until we're, we're stopped doing this on a global scale. When that day comes, that is the day when we can walk away from this. That's the day that civilization really is going to birth. And we can actually walk around and state that claim that we are civilized human beings because we won't fall into this game anymore. <laughs>